Wet hair, don't care, ha <laughs> ha, let me just, oh, what? Oh, hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Kami and welcome back to my channel, What's Good? I feel like it's been a hot minute since I said my normal intro. I've been going for a lot, I've been going for a lot of mess. I've been watching back all my old videos and I was like, oh, I was so much funnier and way more happier back then. So now I'm out here, <laughs> surviving. A lot of stuff has been going on in my life. I have been getting told recently that I'm way too open on my channel and my other social medias and that I need to chill and not put too much out there. But then again, why on earth would I want to do social media if I'm not completely open? Like when I meet you guys on the street and you know everything about me, not only is that so creepy, it's also the sickest thing in my life. So I'm never going to not, not overshare. Like I feel like if you're watching someone on YouTube, why would you not want them to overshare? You Feel. Anyway, that is so irrelevant in today's video. And also, did I mention my hair's wet? I don't want anyone thinking I have like greasy hair and stuff. I just prefer the way my hair looks when it's wet. Shut up, Kami. You're so annoying. I'm back out here with another reacting video. And when I tell you I'm going to react to something, I'm going to react to it. And I'm going to give my honest opinions. And people seem to think that when I'm honest, it's classed as bullying. Like, no offense. Sorry that I'm honest. Like, sorry that I'm real. Like, do you want to watch someone that's fake? No. I basically wanted to react to a really cringy TikToker. And I was like, who the hell is like one TikTok right now who is super cringe? So I put on my Instagram at touch the light by the way go follow me or get 10 years bad luck I didn't make the rules Jesus did like I'm literally not kidding go follow me right now like if you're not following me already like what are you actually doing like seriously hit me with a follow DM me and I am sure I will reply to your DM and if I don't DM me again and we'll see what's up but yeah anyway I put on my Instagram story basically asking who is cringy to react to and I literally only literally got one person and the amount of people that said this person was an actual joke like this person has blown up recently like if all of my followers are telling me to react to this person they have to be someone like kind of bad in a sense so yeah today i'm gonna be taking a look at libby may's social media platforms and just giving my opinion on her <laughs> not even in a bad way like you actually don't know whether i'll like her or hate her like that's the thing so you're gonna have to watch and find out my honest opinion on libby may first of all her name is just like it it triggers in my head for some reason like when i hear libby may it's like going round my head like why is that a thing and also hi libby may i know you're watching this so i don't want you to think i'm actually gonna roast you like you can just sit back and relax actually i haven't reacted to you yet i might not like you just hold on a minute like let me get my phone out and react to you first okay so i've got a number of tiktoks that i've been sent that i'm gonna be reacting to you guys basically sent me all of these so this is gonna be very interesting i wonder what's gonna happen hopefully i don't puke yeah don't forget to subscribe for more quality content like this like you're gonna miss out if you don't subscribe so make sure you hit that freaking button oh my god Leave me. it hurts it hurts when i hear that i don't know why why is that a thing the jeans don't associate why don't you try your black mum jeans on also i didn't know they were south african because they definitely ate english like i have never ever heard that accent before like i don't know what that is girl look oh. at you are, are we gonna have a new girl at Libby May? I'm struggling. I don't even know what I'm watching. Is this a TikTok or a vlog? Baby, what's wrong with your lips? Hey, why? What's up with them? I know I need a lip fillers, but what's up with them? They're not kissing mine. Libby <laughs> May! No, do not do that. It's like an all time level of cringe. Like, I'm sorry. Ew! Fuck. Ew! What? Oh, that was so awful. How is it already the second video and it's already ruined my day? It's 11 a.m. Oh, what an awful start to my day. <laughs> you look so pretty. Why is this skull just standing up struggling? And like, why is it just the most awkward silence waiting for the TikTok to start? Like, who does that and why is she filming this? Your outfit looks so good. Wow. You're actually so beautiful, Kaylee. Jesus, girl. I hate that I like it. This is like the type of cringe that I like, I love to watch. Like, no wonder they're so freaking famous. You watch that and you're like, who are you and what kind of breed are you? Like, that is a different type of breed. I usually put all of TikTokers into one breed and I know all of you are going to be like, you make TikToks. First of all, if you ever caught me taking TikTok seriously, I give you full permission to punch me in the face. These are the type of people to take it seriously and that's the type of people that I don't really mess with. You can't be over the age of 18 and do stuff like this. I'm sorry, you actually can't. I don't know why, but that girl on the right is giving me very much spider energy. She looked like the type to crawl up your leg when you're not even expecting it. It's scary. Stop. Like, Libby May needs to actually be stopped. Why is no one stopping her? Bae, I'm not in the mood. Please get away from me. Bae, where are you going? Bae, 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 where are you going? But I was just playing. Guys, I'm actually, I'm not okay. Like, I'm actually kind of struggling. I can't. I'm, I'm struggling. Right, Give me one second. Just fall down. <laughs> what the? Libby! I've literally just done my hair. Oh. Libby, that was 
Oh, I literally just done my hair. That was vile. Like, where are they from? There's a power in Washington. Who sent me this? Who sent me this? This is so iconic. No, like, this is actually the best thing I've ever, ever seen in my life. I made a video on the girl in the middle with the Gucci belt, the Gucci hat, a she dripping. I made a video on her and then she blocked me on every single social media, which was so confusing. Like, sorry I called you up on being cringe, but you don't have to, like, block me on everything. Like, it really ain't that deep. Like, who are you, Saffron Barker? This group, if I ever saw any of them in person, you have been knew I'm running away. Like, I don't know why, but they look like they could, like, beat me up. Like, it's actually scary. You know, every other day I'm watching you, boy. And also, is that bad baby? Like, how do they know these people? Like, what? Can we all just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful my girlfriend is? Like, her outfit just looks so nice. <laughs> Wait, I ain't even trying to be mean to Katie Lee because I don't actually think Katie Lee is that like cringe even though she's like involved with it. The outfit ain't it. I ain't even a fashion icon like trust me like some of the stuff I wear is questionable but at the end of the day like I ain't a fashion influencer like you will catch me in my pajamas at like 4pm like go in Sainsbury's. Yeah, I don't really go Sainsbury's. Actually, I went to Sainsbury's yesterday. I need to humble myself I feel. I guess in their country that is probably seen as like a cool outfit but then again fashion is different all around the world. She's just so beautiful. I'm so I'm so blessed. I'm so lucky. Thank you. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Shoot me in the face. Like, shoot me in the face. I don't want to hear her speak ever again. Oh, my God. I guess some people say I have an annoying voice, but, like, at least I ain't speaking like, baby, Katie Lee. Oh, like, it's actually, I don't want to say gross, but, like, actually, no, I'm going to say gross like it is. We had some laughs. It was fun. You know. All good things must come to an end eventually. I just realized they've literally broken up and I'm reacting to all of their old videos together. That makes it kind of iconic. We love drama. Like, yeah, fair enough. But like, why they break up? to drive you all look four it looks uncomfortable also i can't even imagine what that car be smelling like for some reason i imagine like cigarettes and fake tan or what's it <laughs> Why is Libby Mae picking her nose? It's so gross! Libby Mae, you are so stinky. Why did I say stinky? Sometimes I just say the first things that come to my mind and that was what came to my mind. Is that how it is, baby? Come on then, before I go out. <laughs> oh, baby! Okay, I got a couple questions. <laughs> um, I got a couple questions. What do I eat in a day? <laughs> to be honest, fair enough. That one's kind of funny. Like, I feel like that's very much my humor. So maybe I could get along with her. I just looked at the comments to that video, and the top comments literally say, "Ah, good old fish supper." Oh my god, I feel sick. Bye, guys. Don't spread hate. If anything, spread love because love is so important. And if you're not feeling love, I really hope you feel it soon. I feel like I'm fake. Baby, what's wrong with your lips? Hey, why? What's up with them? I know I need a lip fillers, but what's up with them? They're not kissing mine. Leave me! <laughs> I actually love TikTok. Like, this is so good. I'm not a lesbian, I'm gay. Why I've got any the fuck has that got to do with you? Nah, maybe I do, maybe I don't. <laughs> no, I need a background check on that last person. Like, what is going on? These breeds are so interesting. Like, I want to meet them. Go get me some food. Who do you think you're talking to? Go get me some food. Go get yourself some Go food. Go get me some food. I don't know what I'm watching, but why do I love it? Who do you think you're talking to? Who do you think you're talking to? Who do you think you're talking to go get me some food go get yourself some food i am not getting you any food when you're speaking to me like that well at least we know why they broke up <laughs> yeah this is definitely their breakup video it just is like this video has made me feel insecure like imagine if i was sat here right now and they were all in front of me and i'm just sat like this with my knees like crossed this is the most intimidating thing i have ever seen in my life like i am so scared right guys so i've got to tell you something i just found out some tea tea <laughs> you know living me and katie living me yosh why you you left katie to go <laughs> 
I don't know what I just watched. And like, what? Libby Mae cheated? Interesting. So realistically, Katie Lee and Libby Mae, they broke up. I feel like Libby Mae's most cringiest TikToks were with Katie Lee. But no, that actually isn't the case. So Libby Mae got a new girlfriend who's like 16. And Libby Mae's like 19, which is like a little bit weird. Why would a 19 year old want to go out with someone who's in school? That's really, really weird and creepy. And I think that is many of the reasons why Libby Mae is getting like hated at the moment. But it's probably because number one, she cheated. And number two, she's dating a 16 year old. Like that is so sus. But yeah, I've just like scrolled through Libby Mae's TikTok and like she has so many videos with this girl and it genuinely is one of the worst things I've ever seen. Like I can't lie. It is actually too far. Like it actually is too far. Like I'm fine with like the cringy stuff, but like this is a whole new level of cringe. Like let me just show you one of them that I'm talking about. What the fuck? Like what the actual fuck was that? Literally one of the grossest things I've ever witnessed. Like, I didn't need to see that. You feel me? Like, how is she just gonna ruin my day scrolling through my For You page? Like, that is fucking gross. And on that note, I'm definitely ending this video. Like, I don't know what the hell you people have put me through throughout this video. But I had some enjoyments, but then it, get, it, it just got worse and worse. Like, it actually did just get worse and worse. And I'm sorry if, like, Libby May or, like, Katie Lee are offended by what I said in this video. But, like, I'm not actually trying to be offensive. But realistically, don't post your gross-ass stuff if you're not willing to get roasted, you feel. My overall opinion on Libby May, she ain't bad. I haven't met her. But then again, she it's not really like the type of person that I would meet and be like, oh, you're so much nicer on off camera because like TikTok isn't really a different platform to act different on. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like if people saw me on the streets, they would be like, oh, you're so much nicer um, in real life than you are on YouTube. It's like, yeah, no shit. Like I'm not gonna bully you to your face. If anything, it'll be behind your back. No, I'm joking. I'm literally joking. I seem horrible, but maybe I am. Get really ain't as deep. Like it's all entertainment purposes. And if you are a friend of Libby May, let me know and I will block you before you block me. Make sure you subscribe, smash the thumbs up button if you want more reacting videos. I know there's a lot of like people with dark humor out there who are subscribed to me So if you guys want it, I will keep doing it Give me people to react to in the comments I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video Which will probably be a vlog so we out here Swag guys, I love you so much Stay safe out there and yeah, get lit